All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. And that's the true Hebrew names of our Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the savior he is the deliverer by hashem in the name raka kadash is the holy spirit we want to give a double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth and peace and salutations to you akim to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity and shalom to the akim wa athwats that's peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in studying learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, we two brothers out of the GMS Boston camp back with a quick lesson through the spirit. I'm the brother Taza Wool. And uh, we're just going to uh, let the spirit roll, you know, with more uh, uh, news. You know, the Lord has set us to be a watchman as according to uh, Ezekiel, the third chapter, you know, and we're here to report, man, measure the time diligently and see what's going on in our homeland and our country, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, and what's going on uh in these uh, eastern regions because we know through the prophecies of the scriptures that the Lord revealed his secrets amongst his servants the prophets and he gave us time, uh, 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 a timeline clues and hints of prophecies that's going to come and, and it's going to be soon his arrival of his second coming, you know, and we know two major prophecies have to come to pass before the destruction of Esau, Edom, which is the so-called white man. It has to be the MOTB, which is John and John the Revelator. Uh, scene, you know, in the Revelations, the 13th chapter, chapter, which is the uh, mark of the beast, the, R, the RFID chip, and the Third World War, you know, and and we in the brinks, we in the brinks of the Third World War, and uh, we know the major players through the spirit, you know, the major players is um, uh, Russia and Babylon the Great, or Gog and Magog, which is Russia, and Babylon, which is America, and also there's uh, 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 other nations that's going to kick off and then these two powerhouses are going to um, uh, collide, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so we have an article here from um, RT. I don't know if you have a precept or anything you want to start off with or... Um, matter of fact, yeah, let's do some precepts, uh, um, you know. So, yeah, we're just saying that, hey, th with this article, uh, it just proves that a Third World War, which is prophesied as Armageddon or Armageddon in the Bible, is soon to take place. And these uh, prophets of old seen visions and prophecies of what's going to happen today in our lifetime. So we're here to report on it, man. Uh, um, Joel 2 verse 1. Joel? Yeah. Uh, Joel 2 verse 1. Come. Blow it out, trumpet in Zion, in sun and around in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord come if it is not him. Come, we're blowing the trumpet. You know, we are prophesying on the highways and hedges uh, with this gospel and, and also doing these uh, epistles and, and uploading these lessons. Uh, lessons. And we're, we're blowing the trumpet to the um, holy mountain of Zion, which is the Israelites, man. And all these other nations got to hear about these upcoming prophecies and they're going to have to tremble because when the prophets of old came on the scene into a country into a city it wasn't for normally good uh, news it was to prophesy the downfall of war of evil and pestilence as according to uh, jeremiah 28 and 8 you know that's the prophets of old they prophesied of, against many countries and great kingdoms of evil and of war and of pestilence so uh, uh there's nothing new on the sun you know we believe through the spirit that we're the prophets of old reincarnated back in today's time and now we can see what these prophets of old are seeing now you know mm -hmm. so we're here to, to to prophesy the day of the lord's coming for it's nigh at hand meaning it's soon coming it's on its arrival it's inevitable it's inevitable yeah come yeah because um yeah because uh, no matter how much effort that they try to put in to stop prophecy from actually come to pass it's for no avail because uh, ultimately the will of Yahweh Hashem Shai shall prevail mm -hmm. you know and, and, and we know Yahweh Shai says in the prayer thy kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in, as heaven. Is in heaven so the king of heaven gonna be established on earth 
and before the kingdom can be established, everything that you see here gotta be t or go, gotta gotta go. Come everything, on. the whole world gotta be turned upside down before Yahweh Shai comes and establishes kingdom. You're you know? right, brother. You wanna continue on, or, or oh, that was it? The whole chapter is fire, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's come go on. to the article. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so he got to the point, you know, we have to blow the trumpet. And that mm -hmm. trumpet in, in modern day term is to go out and give you the news, yeah. prophesy, give you the warning, you know? Mm -hmm. The Lord said he's gonna put his words in our mouths and mm -hmm. says, give them warning from him, yeah. you know? Rough, you know? And that's according to uh, mm -hmm. Second Ezra. So that's our job, our duty, you know? Us Israelites, we have jobs here in the world, like, you know, whatever, you have to yeah. feed your family and, mm -hmm. or, you know, put food and, you know, bring the turkey bacon to the table. But we also have a job that's required, for our, our, our reasonable service from the uh, Lord to prophesy and give, uh, uh, be a watchman into the house of Israel. Matter of fact, back here about uh, Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. Ecclesiastes? Yeah, Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. Come. And he says, uh, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, fear the most high, Yahweh, and keep his commandment. For this is the holy of men so like he was saying like uh that's the whole purpose of us being alive man to prophesy the downfall of babylon man the reason that we're here in this captivity is to the lord set us in the middle of the scene so that we can see what's happening so that we can we can process about it man that's right you know Come. that's that's our whole purpose of being alive man that's the uh, our duty that's, that's right. our reasonable service commandments keep yeah. his commandments because mm -hmm. if you don't keep the commandments you're liable for death man yeah or uh, what's our yahweh shai told peter three times if you love me feed my flock man. that's right so it's our reasonable service it's logic for yeah. us to do this work man yeah, it's, our, it's our duty man mm -hmm. come on. so let's get into the article because um you know another commandment it says measure thou the time diligent in itself man and how we measure it's to pay attention to what's going on in the world news events and we filter them through prophecies according to the scriptures man so we won't be blinded because the lord said ye are the children of the light that light is to be knowledgeable to have that mm -hmm. wisdom and understanding mm -hmm. we are not the children of darkness mm -hmm. you know and also a commandment it says let your light shine before men mm -hmm. so we're supposed to let you know that the things that the lord revealed through the spirit and power yahweh shem are shining to us we're supposed to declare it and blow our trumpet mm -hmm. so uh again uh this is an article from rt and it was uh published on january 9th 2022 i believe that was yesterday correct con uh, get, yeah, i think today's the 10th yeah con so uh the headline reads u.s believes putin wants to restore soviet union mm. yeah because like uh that's what uh you know that's that's his whole agenda uh just like uh you have the mono doctrine we says that the 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 u.s have the right to to the americas mm -hmm. meaning americas whatever happened in the americas the u.s has the right to inter intervene right yep. the same thing about russia man russia feels like uh whatever happened in ukraine on Czechoslovakia, that's his, that's, that's the right to intervene, man. That's right. You no, know, that's very hypocritical of these devils to make make it seems like Russia is the bad guys. Meanwhile, they're doing the same thing, man. That's, that's right. hypocritical, man. That's right. And it's all bibli again biblical prophecy. You know, we're gonna get into it, Lord willing, to Ezekiel thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. You know, America or the, these uh, uh, Secretary of State from uh, the U.S. Uh, government or uh, military, so on and so forth. They are in fear of that powerhouse in the east which is russia going back to soviet union mm -hmm. but they can't they, they can come up with uh, uh treaties or, or laws and legislations to try to stop them but this is ultimately That's the lord's will, will. Mm -hmm. you know they can't upset prophecy their their arms is too short to box with the most high man mm -hmm. so this is all biblical prophecy and we're here to report it man Come on. Come on. Uh, america's top diplomat makes sweeping claim ahead of security negotiations U.S. Security of State Antony Blinken has said that Russia is eyeing restoration of the Soviet Union, which is, in his opinion, unacceptable and should be addressed. He offered no evidence to support his assertion. Yeah, because like the reason that they said it's, it is unacceptable is because they know that the, the reason that they've been trying to stop Russia from, from accomplishing the mission. You know, uh, was the, the NATO was created to stop Russia mm -hmm. from from becoming a powerhouse, man? Yeah, right. Yeah. You know? The USSR. USSR, right? Yeah. That's what they fear the most because uh, these devils, man. Whether you know it or not, they kind of know. They kind of know prophecy, man. That's right. They they have a uh, witches on warlocks on the left hand side telling them what's about to come. That's right. Know? Don't let Russia uh uh, uh become a, 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 back a, in power. A, a back in power because uh they're gonna take you down. That's right. You know? and, and and like you mentioned that these these devils or these uh uh yeah they know about biblical prophecy. Hey uh 
Putin once said confidently, "Hey, the prophecies is on his side." Mm-hmm. So what's that mean? See, so they they know that a uh, hey, uh, this war is uh, inevitable and it's gonna uh, ultimately lead to the downfall of America, man. You know, and the down, but ultimately it's gonna be the downfall of Esau Edom. You yeah, know, because yeah. this is Esau versus Esau crime. You yeah, know, what yeah, I mean? because like uh, Russia, that's the Edomites. That's yep. the Edomites in America. That's the Edomites. So the Lord Yahweh Shemshai is using those Edomites to fight against themselves. So in the middle of it, Yahweh is gonna come and take the, all of, all of them out. Since you mentioned that, let me get uh Matthew, Satan versus Satan. Mm-hmm. Come on, um, what's that? Matthew uh, 12, 12, 12 and twenty five. Yeah. Uh, Matthew 12 verse uh, 25 And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts And said unto them Every kingdom divided against itself Is brought to desolation And every city or house divided against itself Shall not stand And if Satan casts out Satan He is divided against himself How shall then his kingdom stand yeah, Yes hey, So like we mentioned This is Esau versus Esau crime Satan versus K- Satan But there's also division and, and, and desolation That's happened just here in America And that's another sign and clue That uh, uh, America is imploding within Within, mm-hmm. You know It's on its way down the toilet bowl Meaning it's, it's on the way to be uh, uh, destroyed You know And then you have these other powers uh, In the east You know uh, the Lord's putting that spirit again, that hooks in their jaws, bringing uh, 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 Russia or Gog and Magog back into that 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 dominance, uh, that military power, man. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to lead to even the alliances of U.S. or Babylon turning against them. Whether it's like you mentioned, you mentioned NATO was uh, created to to to, to reduce r- Russian aggression. Yep, to uh, uh, Russia's to coming back into power. But you're going to have NATO and EU, which is allies with America, turn they back. On their agreements And also uh, uh, Be uh, Contribute to the downfall Of, of Babylon man. Yeah come on. If I may add to The fact that you have Joe Biden As US president Is a sign that To let you know This country is finished man That's right You know That's uh, right. Babylon has become A laughing stock All over the world man That's right you know? and, and hey And we mentioned These powerhouses uh, NATO EU uh, Babylon Russia mm-hmm. These are all Edomites mm-hmm. That's in, in these seats man yeah. You know Us Israelites Don't have any say we don't have any officials or, or any military to protect us, but we do. It's spiritual. It's our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and, and the, the Lord of hosts, man. Yeah, because if I may add a quick, right? Come on. Because uh, the prophecy clearly says before Yahweh Shai comes back, the Edomites will be in power. Yeah. So, uh, 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 so no matter what, no matter if it's Russia, uh, the the uh, the UK, uh, the Spanish, the Portuguese. You know, that's the Edomites. They are the one in power. Babylonians. Uh, Babylonians, uh, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, Modern day. Yep. You know, they are the one in power. So, Yahweh is going to come to uh, uh, and, and take them down. You know? That's right. Huh. Continuing on the article, uh, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has said that Russia... Oh, I already read that, right? Yeah, yeah. Huh. I'll read it again. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has said that Russia's iron restoration of the Soviet Union, which is, in his opinion, unacceptable and should be addressed. In an interview with CNN on Sunday, Blinken was asked if he agreed with former Secretary of Defense Leon uh, Panetta, who once said that Russian President Vladimir Putin was driven by a desire mm. to restore the old USSR. If I mean, yeah, I mean, go ahead, go ahead. Great, great. You're probably going to take a desire that. because, like, uh, hey, that's that's the desire, right? Yeah. Who's doing the desire? The, the Lord. Lord is behind it. That's the spirit. Matter of fact, Proverbs 21, verse 1. Yeah, calm. You know, the Lord is the one that's putting the desire in his mind to, yeah. to, 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 to accomplish, accomplish his will. You said what? what you, uh, Proverbs 21, verse 1. I'll get it and you can break it down huh. Proverbs 21 verse 1 The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord As the rivers of water He will turn it with whether soever he will Yeah that's the Lord's desire mm-hmm. To make sure Russia co- uh, Come back to the Soviet Union instead of mine So that they can take down Babylon man That's right And you know the scripture said in Job what, when you sleep, that's when the Lord puts your instruction in your uh, uh, in your mind to do what you need to do the, the next day, man. That's right. You know, so the desire for for Putin to put back a uh, 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 Soviet Union back a warlike spirit. Yeah, that's know? the Lord's that's the Lord's doing, man. That's right. That's, yeah, how about Shem is doing? That's right. Come yeah. uh, back to the article. Good point, bro. I was gonna say the same thing. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's right. I think that's one of President Putin's objectives, and it is to re-exert a sphere of influence over countries that previously were part of the Soviet Union, Blinken replied. Yeah, because like I said before, like uh, 
in the Americas, North Central South Americas, the United States has a, 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 a say so. Mm. They they can go into any other countries in this in the Americas and and pretty much dictate their policy, man. That's right. And just and the same thing happened to Russia, man. Russia felt the same way. That's Whatever right. happened in the eastern part of the world, they feel like that's the duty to go down there and push the agenda, man. And that's part of their nature. I mean, they they're not risk before referring back to Esau. He's not a keeper at home. Mm -hmm. You know, he he takes. He oppresses a man in his, his own, own house and his uh, heritage, you mm -hmm. know, and he, he, put, uh, he puts sanctions. And if you don't uh, uh, drink with that philosophy or that wine, which is the philosophy, you can put get sanctions on him, bomb you uh, and actually uh, get invaded. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is the, 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 the mindset and the spirit of Esau mm -hmm. is to uh, uh, put his nose in other people's business and try to conquer other people's lands with his democracy or his uh, philosophies, man. Yeah, Esau has no problem of everybody, everybody getting together, but you gotta be on top. You yeah. gotta be the one dictating what to do. Yeah. You gotta be the one telling you what to do, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. the fucking devil for you, man. That's the devil for you. And it doesn't matter, like the brother mentioned, it doesn't matter if he's they're from Babylon, if he's from the UK, mm. from London, or if he's from uh, uh, Spain, uh, or if he's from Russia. These are all the Edomites. This is the part of their nature is to conquer and try to act like they're the, the, the most high, man. Yeah. You know? They want to be in charge, right? Yep, yep. They, the devil, they got a pride about them. Yep. You know, if they if they are in a room, they feel like they, are, they should be the one dictating people, telling people what to do. And you said that they got a pride amongst them, but the scriptures, multiple scriptures say pride goes before downfall, mm -hmm. uh, pride goes before destruction, mm -hmm. you know? So, hey, the Lord is boosting or, or bi uh, giving that pump out to Esau so he could bring him down to show his power, mm -hmm. just like he did with Pharaoh in Egypt, man, mm -hmm. you know? And this is nothing new. That's why it's nothing new under the sun. And we're, and we're here to, 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 to prophesy the downfall of Esau Edom, mm -hmm. you know? But it starts with America being hit because this is the 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 center of Satan's seat or the yeah. the, the 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 source of wickedness throughout the whole world is through Babylon the Great, man. Yeah, that's that's the epicenter. Yep. That's where Esau's that's the Esau's military might. Con. That's where these devils sit in the earth and push the wickedness, the influence over the earth, man. Con. We get this uh, article, uh, mm -hmm. this next paragraph. He went on to say that the U.S. considered such a wish unacceptable as a world of spheres of influence was a recipe for instability, a recipe for conflict, a recipe that led to world wars. Mm -hmm. Hey, see, and they're quoting, and ultimately, like, uh, like, like the brother mentioned, this is the Lord putting that desire into Putin to go back into power, and the Lord's putting that spirit of uh, these uh, uh, U.S. Uh, uh, secretary or officials to to pretty much have their antennas aware because mm -hmm. they're they're nervous, mm -hmm. you know. And this, ultimately, this is the Lord moving his chess pieces, and that that checkmate is World War Three. It's going to lead to them thermal nuclear missiles or the ICBMs being shot from all these armies and mainly aiming at America, man. The mm -hmm. downfall of America, oh. you know. Let's get on Ezekiel 30, um, 38, 38 mm -hmm. because. Again, this is what the uh, was it uh, what it, uh, Blinken? Yeah. This is what he fears, you know. And, and I'm pretty sure all the uh, the elites or the the you know people in high places here in America fear this. But again, this is all the hand of the Lord. What I say, Ezekiel 38. 38 yeah. Yep, kind. I'll, I'll read it. And you I'll break it down. Yeah. Ezekiel 38 verse one. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshtech and Tubal, and prophesied against him. Yeah, so Ezekiel was committed by Yahweh Shemeshai to prophesy, to tell these nations what they are going to do in the last days, man. That's right. You know, before Yahweh Shai comes, man. You know, uh, Moscow, you know, when you go to Moscow, that's, uh, 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 that's where you get the word... Uh, uh, Meshtech? Uh, 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 what is it called? Mesh Meshek. Meshek. Yeah. You know, that's what that's it. That's that's how you know the, the land. Those those land was uh was uh was uh for the for these uh these nations. What uh, the defect defect nations, right? Yeah. But they've been taken over by the Edomites. Yep. You know, so hey, that's 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 that, an indicator to know who's occupying that land in this future prophecy. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the brother mentioned, that land is the land of the, the Japhetic people, but Esau. Took it over. Dwells, yeah. Esau dwells there. He took it over like he took it, like like he took over everything. That's right. Uh, verse three. And thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, and the uh, the chief prince of Meshtech and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So the Lord Yahweh Shemeshah is with Russia, man. 
the law is putting hooks into the into their jaw meaning the law is backing them up mm -hmm. the law is giving them military might that's right to fulfill as well to come against babylon man that's right putting that spirit of the ussr man that's that's, that's a desire that's the desire of vladimir putin mm -hmm. and the brother read uh uh, uh uh proverbs 21 right 21 mm -hmm. and 1 you mm -hmm. know the lord is the one that's uh uh issuing his plans his will amongst amongst uh the uh the, the, the people man mm -hmm. this is man's goings is of the lord mm -hmm. you know so this is all of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. And this is future prophecy. This is what Esau, uh, well, well, the the American, uh, the U.S. Secretary of uh, Fears. Bl yep, yep, Anthony Blinken. You know, he thinks it's unacceptable, but guess what? It's going to happen. Because mm -hmm. this is, again, the the will of the Heavenly Father, man. It's, it shows you the pride of the devil. Who yeah. the fuck are you to think it's, it's unacceptable? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? You, you, me a model, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah, there's a higher power in control, man. That's yeah, right. That's, again, that's how you know this is the devil, man. You know, these devils feel like, oh, if things don't go that way, that's not, it's not good. <laughs> that's right. That's yeah. That's why they try to be like the Most High. They try to do things on the left hand side and think that they can have uh, influence and and power over the people. But again, the 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 Lord has set up what seven thousand men, that, uh, men that will not uh, bow, bow to the, their bow to uh, their knees to the image of Baal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We can see and we know through the spirit who the devil is. And we know what time it is, man. The time is of war. World mm -hmm. War Three is inevitable and yeah. it's going to lead to the destruction. Uh, real quick, we can, I don't know if you got anything else, but I'll bring real quick. Uh, Revelations 11 verse 14. Mm -hmm. Uh, Revelation is 11 verse 14 The second woe is past And behold the third woe coming quickly And like the and like that um, Official said Let me get to that article I mean to the um, paragraph It says uh, He went to on to say That the U.S. considers such a wish <laughs> Unacceptable As a world of spears of influence Was a recipe of instability A recipe of conflict For conflict And a recipe oh, that would lead to world wars And this This uh, uh that desire again uh, for Putin to uh, come back to that um, that power to restore the old USSR mm -hmm. is going to lead to a, a, a third world war, it's man. War. It's inevitable. It's like inevitable, and and that's why we read, you know, the second war was passed, and behold, the third war coming quickly. That mm -hmm. war is death and destruction at a, a mass rate, man. And the woes is the world wars, mm -hmm. you know, World War One and World War Two uh, uh, passed. And behold, the third world, World War Three, coming quickly, man. And we on the horizon. And it's gonna be full circle because the brother started off the the lesson with, with, uh, Joel, the with Joel the chapter. second chapter, man. The day of the Lord is at hand, and this is this is of the Lord, man. The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name, man. So it, it's it's inevitable, man. So hey, we're here to report you and let you know that hey, if you are Israelite, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's time to repent and take heed and seek the Lord while the while He may be found, man. You got anything else? No, so with that, man, we pray everything was edifying. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawada, the House of David, the elect. Until next time, we want to say Adawan Ratizah, which means Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.